not gonna want to go this morning. Well, today's Monday. Uh, we're over here at the lease property today, and we're doing some preg checking. Cool. Hoping for good results. A little bright. I apologize. We've got a couple of them already in the out of the way in the chute. So we just finished preg checking over here at the lease property and we got 10 out of 10. That's great news. All right, so it's the next day. We did preg checking. The bull did his job. So now we're loading, getting him loaded up and taking him to the sale barn. Got that done and we're off to the cell barn. Oh, we're back again. Um, today we're going to take you along for a little ride. It's actually quite a distance, um, a little bit over an hour. We are headed to Mount Pleasant, North Carolina. Um, so a few months back I found this um, farm that grows all their own grain and it's non-GMO. Um, last time we raised pigs, we bought organic feed. We had it delivered um, by the ton and um, wanted to make sure that what we were eating was also eating well. Um, so bought organic feed for them and that raised them out for about seven months. However, that was honestly just too expensive and we cannot see ourselves doing that again right now. Um, so if I'm the next best thing, a farm um, that does, they don't deliver, but they have a self-service self-service feed center and a family-owned business the website's really cool um so i'm going to record a little bit of that it's our first time out there and hopefully the pigs love the feed if they do we'll go back for more but right now today we're just getting a barrel load excuse me we're just getting a barrel load and um yeah. and we're choosing this route because you can't just find non-gmo organic pig feed in stores um, chicken feed, yes, that's a little bit easier to find for laying hens, but we needed something that would be, hopefully, in the future, as long as this goes well with the pigs, this is where we can get our chicken feed from, meat, bird, um, feed from, and yada, 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 because so, they sell all the things. So, yeah, cow feed too, but I mean, they have all the things. So, anyways, it'd be great to have, be able to purchase all of our feed from one place love that it's a family owned business and just we don't have much for options around here that are non-gmo or organic so non-gmo fits um our budget right now and that's what we're comfortable with we that's the way we eat and we want our animals to eat that way too One of these barrels should be ours. Yep, there it is. It is on an honor system and self-serve. Now we pre-ordered because we were picking up um, seven bags worth in a barrel. So 
they had it all ready to go for us. But you just put your money in this little lock box, honor system, very well done here. feet available um, by the ton in a tote and we've done that before we did that with our um, pigs last time but um, we want to make sure that they like this feed before we get more of it so we're just getting 350 pounds of it that fit in this screw top barrel and um, and we'll see so hopefully they like it watching me talk to my phone and there were gentlemen lining up to pick up their feed after us and so that's why those videos were a little bit short. Okay so today was actually the grand opening of this family's new store. So from what I've learned on social media they've had a store they recently, a couple months ago, bought a building and it was so well done inside. Today they had the mayor come out there, did the ribbon cutting and all the nine yards, all nine yards. So I um, didn't realize that was today. Saw it on their Instagram as we were headed up here. But I um, wanted to check their, their little store out. We forgot a cooler, I forgot a cooler. I meant to do that to um, be able to buy some of their meat because we have plans. We're not going straight home. So it'd be an hour ride back towards Augusta County but then we're gonna be out and about um, at a little fall festival, so couldn't get any meat, which is super bummed. And I really wanted some of their raw milk too, but um, anyways, couldn't do that. We'll have to go back. Did though get a t-shirt, wanted to support them. So I'll turn the camera and I'll show you what t-shirt I got. And got but, um, this is Comfort Colors. It's a long sleeve tee, perfect for fall, and I love yellow. Anyways, so, if you are local to Mount Pleasant, they don't deliver their meat, but you can go buy from their store. So, um, like I said, we plan to do that in the future. Very well priced, pasture raised, non-GMO fed livestock. All right, well, we made it back to the house and we're getting ready to do some chores and unload this uh, barrel and see how the pigs like it. I just stepped in poop, y'all. I need to watch where I'm going instead of watching the screen. Good job. Got 18 inch long fingers. I know. She just put her new nails on yeah. today. <laughs> he said, Sister, please hurry. I want to get down. <laughs> Thank you. Strong, Daddy. I have another hernia. I have another hernia. So Cliff works for a barrel company, like that's his job, but we'd never heard of a pickle barrel before. 
So that's what parent. I didn't even want to say it out with Eddie. Got <laughs> a bougie lip. So we um they had the system if you bring in if you bring in a barrel then you don't have to pay for the barrel. Um but none of the barrels at Town Dumb are like this. So um learned a little something new. I don't think I said earlier, it is 350 pounds of feed, and that's just 750 pound bags that we could have gotten, but we keep all of our feed in barrels, so it worked out perfectly that they offered this option instead of just us having to do that little bit of extra work. I think you just stepped in that poop. It didn't. Barely missed it. Okay. It's not like that organic feed did. No, that's better. Like <laughs> that had lots of herbs and whatnot in it. Yep, so you can that yep. Cool. So we still have some of our old um, starter feed left. So we're just going to put one scoop of that in. We usually do two scoops of that. We'll do one scoop of that, one scoop of our new feed to kind of get them used to it and break them into it. And uh, yeah. You want to add water with this? Yeah, now? we'll add water to it. And then. We'll actually throw bread on top of it too. So Boogie's got a scooper over there for you. How's that? Working out really good. Sunday That's okay. Jesus No, 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 that one's already on there. All you gotta do is, is, now you gotta just turn that, put it in the bucket. I do it. Oh, it's cool. I'll stir it. All right. No, let me stir it, Eli, you go out there and get some bread for it. I need about three loaves of bread. Got some more some bread. Right here, dude. Oh yeah, this full. Let me do this one first. Will you bring that barrel over here, please? Yes. Got to. It's not too. Uh, nope. That's okay. You can look. I'm just looking at the side of the bag. Oh, it's good. Yeah, this is good. Do some tacos coming up from the pasture up hey, oh. by the barn coming on down here yeah they'll get the hose pipe stuck around my head mm. make a mess The girls will be on this section for the next seven days and um that's it for this week we had two pregnancy checks this past week you recorded one of them that was at the lease property had the girls checked here also <coughs> 11 of 13 confirmed confirmed pregnancies that's pretty great numbers yeah for ai and um embryo and then the bull came through and swept finished it up but um and then what else did we do this week? Sold the bull. Sold the he bull. did his job. Yep, got the check for that. We went and got picked up some pig feed today. Checked out barrier meals for the first time. Yep. And um, 
I mean, the pigs aren't picky, so feed went over just fine. I think we'll be back for some more. So. Yep. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us on uh, Talent Family Ranch.